utilization we will discuss about database architecture database architecture so what is the use of database architecture and its types we will discuss today's session here what is the use of database means how the users are connected to the database then how how the users are connected to the database then how the request is done so users are now here is the connect out okay na how the users are connected to the database ela connect out so our request to keep proper response ela okay na a simply database architecture means it is a representation of the database design database design in the end representation of the database design we want to represent it so users are about to get connected at the request and at the request the response allowed to be so that is the database architecture so database architecture representation of database design or so how the users are connected to the database then how they the request is done then how they got the response from the database that is known as database architecture okay now it is says there are so the database architecture to classify it to categorize it to format type three types okay na so types of architectures types of architectures The first type is one-time architecture or single-time architecture. Single-time architecture. Or this one is one-time architecture. One-time architecture. One-time architecture. Then next one is second one. Two-time architecture. Two type architecture and third one three type architecture. Three type architecture. So these are the three different types: database architecture, single type architecture, two type architecture, three type architecture. Now we discuss the first one: so one type architecture or single type architecture. So one type means so only one PC, one peripheral computer. So one system, in one system. So I said the so databases, so everything. So okay, system will be. But if automatically you should have the database will be so server will be. So for the first example is one computer, single computer, or one cell phone. So I can have mobile phone just to watch you. Then the one computer just. So that is the example of the one-time architecture. So yes, CPU will be there. So basically, the database as well as client console. Where? So the best example is mobile phone or one peripheral computer. So the single system network communication is going on. So that is the best example of the one-time architecture. Only one computer, one mobile phone. In single computer, we can say the all the database will serve us. That is what I say. One-time architecture. Then next one is second one, two-time architecture. Two-time architecture. The best example of the two-time architecture is. Client server communication. Client server communication. The multiple sharing is not possible here. What kind of object? The multiple sharing is the the possible one. But in the two type of object, the multiple sharing is possible in the two type of object. So more than one client can take care of what happened. So send the request to the database and 
data we are sending as much to the client. So that is called as a two-way architecture. So number of clients, okay, sir, you can say this, okay, then data we are sending to the client as much to the So uh, what are the clients to directly interact with the data we are sending to the client? So for example, so more than one client, more than one client. Suppose client one, client one, then client two, then client three, so so on, so on, client ten. So number of clients, I can get it for client three, and three, send it as one to the database. Even for example, so these are the examples to be 